also invite you to accept the fact that as we endure certain challenging situations, I don't want you to think like it's a karma and then I sit on it as a karmic suffering that I must live with for the rest of my life. But in order to move forward and in order to have the power to give, so I can move forward, which is why it's called forgive, means if I don't give, I will be stuck in that karmic bondage, what we also call a karmic nightmare. And it's the law of the soul. If I don't understand that the reason why I'm here to exist is to keep giving from the heart within. And I don't mean that I have to come here and give you a million dollars, even though that would be nice since we're tax deductible. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's not about giving just of a material level, but have you practiced the art of giving a good wish from the soul, a good feeling from the soul to give light, to give peace to another person. And that practice of giving from the mind actually protects the soul from any karmic trappings that even might be waiting for you in the future. You see, the soul is unfolding its story. We don't know what's going to happen to us 13 years later. At the, med at the immediate moment we're thinking, one, this day is perfect and fine, and 10 years from now, this is what I'm projecting, how we will turn out, and this is what will happen between us. 10 years later, it's not the way I had thought it should be. A whole bunch of other things came into my story, things that I didn't plan. How does that happen? It's built up from the past, and it's also built up as well from now. And I know it's hard to just, I, say, I don't know what's in my past. And if you're somebody who perhaps might not believe in rebirth, which means that the soul takes another life and travels with it, the experiences of its previous lives, it might be a more challenging concept to accept for the self. But when you look at why some people are born poor, some people are born unhealthy. Some people are born in a brothel, while another one is born in a palace. God doesn't create that. The energy of God is too pure. It's too stable. It's too unlimited. Now, why would I create that for myself to be born in a brothel, to be born poor, to be born handicapped? It's not that I choose to do that. But there are certain universal laws that we break every day. And we are not aware of the consequences of those laws. And there are certain universal laws that we follow every day. And we're also not aware of the consequences of those laws too. And so both are conjecture, like both are all intertwined together. And when we come in front of somebody, it triggers the story that's recorded inside, known or unknown to me. If it's somebody that comes, um, past me, where it's really a negative, it's a stranger, that person, that soul who's playing that part in, in that person's life is not actually a stranger. It is a karmic account of a past life between you and that person. And as hard as sometimes that is to perceive, it's the 